Let's find out what happens when the Headless Horseman and Krampus have a baby. Dork Lair! Welcome to another Dork Lair collecting video. Today I'm going to do a part swap, kit bash, so to speak, kind of mix and match video here. It's been quite a while since I've done one of these. I kind of shifted over to just doing swaps in my videos, but I just wanted to try to get back into these. I know people really enjoyed them. And I got a lot of new viewers and subscribers since I did the Headless Horseman review. So I thought it would be cool to revisit this format and talk a little bit about popping these figures apart, how easy and fun it is to mix and match, and what better pair to do than the only two Figura Obscura figures, and that is the Headless Horseman and Krampus from last year. Now, of course, we have a third one coming, which is going to be the Red Krampus, but do not have that in hand yet. Eventually, maybe I'll do a video where I mix that one in as well. But for now, we have these two Figura Obscura figures. Excellent figures. If you haven't watched my videos for either of these two, go check those out. Uh, full reviews on both. For those of you who are sort of new to this type of video, really all you need is a blow dryer. You can use hot water. I, I will use hot water if I'm doing, especially like 2.0 figures, but for these 1.0 style, these bigger Mythic Legion style bodies, you just need a little bit of heat. There's generally, it's it's not too much difficulty. So a hair dryer, this is a very weak, cheapo hair dryer. Uh, we'll get the job done. And before we start popping these apart, let's just take kind of an overall look at the figures and a little bit of my thought process of what I'm planning to do here. And uh, yeah, so the Krampus figure has the very popular, very common bare chested torso that's just in black. So you get the torso, the arms and the legs. I think I'm gonna use some of those bare body parts and mix them onto here and then also use the Krampus head. And we'll see what happens with this neck piece. It's pretty much sculpted for this particular body. So unless I use this body, I'm not sure it's going to work out if I try to put that fur piece on this, you know, clothed torso, the leather style torso. And then we have the Headless Horseman. Of course, the pumpkin head is very specific. So we're going to lose that. We're definitely going to keep the cape because that's going to go with the red tongue of Krampus. And then some of the leather parts I may keep Probably use Krampus's hands though. Maybe these lower, um, you know, these lower armor bits on the legs. We'll see. But yeah, it's some one of those things where I tend to pop a figure apart and then look at all the parts and start swapping things around. And then I finally get to like where I feel like it's the right thing and the right look. I probably will lose the scarf as well because I just don't think this head is going to work with this scarf. So that's my thought process. Let's start breaking these things down. And Mythic Legions, for those of you who are sort of new, and I, I know a lot of people bought this uh, Headless Horseman as their first figure, so this video might be informative for you, but they are very easy to pop apart. So specifically, you're going to be able to take the head off on its own. Usually the neck will come with it, but the head can easily be removed from the neck as well, using just a little bit of strength to get it out of there. But that neck piece right here, which we're probably going to need. And then the collar pieces just peg into the back of the neck down here. And those are also easily removable without any heat. This particular cape just sits underneath that piece. It doesn't actually peg in at all. Of course, the sword is just in his hand. And then, yeah, I mean, hands are pretty easy to pop off without any effort. And then at that point is where I usually start heating things up. So I'll heat up the arm sockets. I'll heat up the waist. I'll heat up. It depends on what I'm going to take apart. I'll probably take the gauntlets off. So I'll heat those up as well. And um, the feet, probably use the hooves because we're going to be using that Krampus demon head. And so I'll probably remove the feet as well. So I got him sort of prepped for disassembly. And then Krampus head is the same thing. It just pops right off. And then this piece sits over the top. The bare chested torso is different. It does not have the separate neck peg, so that's built in. And yep, we can remove the hands on him. And the tail, Krampus is a little weird. If you are, if you have a Krampus and you haven't modified the tail, you'll probably wanna use heat, but I actually kinda of like sanded mine down, so my tail pops in and out pretty easily. But that's just mine. If you have, you'll probably wanna heat it up if you have it. But yeah, so here's Krampus and here's the Headless Horseman sort of ready to be heated up. At this point, any parts I take off, I usually heat them up. You can pretty much pop them all apart 
without heat, but I just like the heat because I think it just creates less wear and tear long term on the figures, and I do a lot of popping and swapping. And as far as applying heat, if you've never done this before, there's not anything to it. You just use a blow dryer and heat it up. My blow dryer is weak, so I, I tend to be like right on top of my figure, but if you have a hotter blow dryer or a heat gun or something like that, then, you know, just back off a little bit. But I usually spend like a few seconds, maybe five to 10 seconds on each part, get it all heated up nicely and then start popping it apart. If something's stuck, if it feels like it's not coming, I'll heat it up some more. The newer figures I feel tend to pop apart a little more easily than the older figures, like these newer parts that they created. I, It seems like they made the tolerances a little bit less and made it a little bit easier to actually pop the parts off. So here we go. I'm gonna heat this up, pop it apart, and then we'll do the Krampus as well. So I've got the arms all heated up and just pop those out. Torso right there. And then the belt piece. This particular belt is two pieces. Actually, this piece can come off. I'll probably end up keeping it on there though when we get it together because I think I'm using this part. Next, I'll heat the legs below the knees so that joint is right below the knees there. This point is usually the most challenging to get off. It's on there nice and tight, but I usually pry it forward with the front of the leg there to get it off, and then we'll get this side as well. Feet should pop right out, just like a straight cylindrical peg there. Same with this side here. And then also I wanna take these gauntlets off of the arms. And they're still warm, so they pop right off, just like that. Next I'll get Krampus nice and warm, and then pop him apart. Okay, they're fully disassembled. I brought a white backdrop in just so we can see things a little bit better. And what I'm gonna do next is just start deciding which parts I wanna use and like removing the stuff that I'm not gonna use. So this is a bit of my process. So I am not gonna use the pumpkin head or this collar here. I don't think I'm gonna use this torso. I'm probably gonna use this setup over here. So that means I'm gonna get rid of this as well. I haven't decided between the legs yet. I may try both to see how it goes. And we're gonna get rid of these arms and we're gonna use the bear arms over here. The Krampus head, we'll try this. I don't think, in fact, let's try it right now. Yeah, see, this is not, this is not really gonna fit very well. I think this is just a no-go right here. So we're not gonna use, we're not gonna use this piece. We will need the neck here. Um, I think I'm gonna try this loincloth because that'll kind of like bring some more of the red in there so we can get rid of this loincloth here let's move the sword aside for now maybe use these new gauntlets and get rid of these um more orc like ones and we're going to use the hooves and the the new leg armor and i think i think i am going to try to go with the bare legs here and we're going to get rid of the gloved hands and so this is, this is the kit right here that I think I'm going to go with. And this is basically my process as I go. And if I kind of like change my mind midway as I'm assembling it, I may do that and I may switch some things up. So this is what we're looking at here. The torso, skirt piece, gauntlets, the greaves, the cape and the neck piece from the Headless Horseman, and then the rest of the stuff. So like the body parts, essentially, um, like the flesh parts, so the head the arms, legs, and then the hooves and the hands from the Krampus figure. So if we try to sort of put it all in order here, it's gonna sort of look like this, where you're gonna have this body, these arms coming off of here. All right, let's start popping this thing together and we'll see how it looks. And then the two main things when reassembling a figure that I like to heat up are the torso. So you got those arm and the waist sockets and then 
also this piece right here on the leg. And sometimes you might need to heat up the, the gauntlets on particularly on this side where the forearm pegs into it. So I'm gonna heat these things up and then we'll get this thing popping back together. And if you lose track of which is which, usually parts that have two sides will tell you this one's right. You can see the R and then it'll tell you left on the left one. So you can figure that out. Sometimes you can kind of memorize things like the wider circles are on the outside. So here we'll pop the Krampus legs onto the horseman greaves, or lower legs, like this. And before we pop that torso on, we need to make sure we put the skirt piece on. So we might as well put this piece on now and then get the skirt piece on here over the top of that. I may actually go without that because this has some purple that I don't know if I want the purple there. So let's see here. So let's pop this on here. All right, and then we'll get the arms going in there. And we can start to see this guy coming together a little bit. Feet pop in very easy. And then the other piece that we probably wanna heat up are these gauntlet pieces. Let's get the neck on there. And I think his, I think his beard is gonna cover up this gray area here. The only thing we don't have is shoulder pauldrons, but he's gonna be wearing a cape. Pop the hands, and then we gotta get the cape on before we put the head on there. And there's a quick look at what we've put together, and I'll just fidget with it a little bit off camera, get it posed up, and wrap up this video. And there we have, I would say, what we could call a more civilized Krampus, right? He's got a little more clothing on, he's a little more tailored. I do think maybe I might add this on there. I'm not sure about that bare belt, but for the most part, I think this is a really cool look. I like the way the Krampus reds mix in with the rest of the uh, Headless Horseman reds, and this cape is just awesome. For them to be including these new wired capes, the highly tailored, two-sided, just beautiful pieces, really ups the level of Mythic Legions and of course, Figura Obscura. And one final little thing, I thought I would give him a horse. And this is also a kit bash. This horse is the Headless Horseman horse with the bridle, the harness, and then you can't really see it, but the blanket under the saddle from the Athon figure. That is the flaming horse with Aerithyr. I also put um, the shield and the sword there from that release as well to give it a cool look. A lot of people saw this kit bash and immediately said, oh, that's gotta go with the Death Dealer from Mezco when that first comes out. And I, I highly agree, I think it's gonna be a good look, but there's a look at that horse with the new Krampus, civilized Krampus on there. Thanks for watching my video. And until next time, may the force be with you.